Hey shooters, Patrick Kelly here, bringing a lot of knowledge, I hope, to you guys from the home of the Superstition Mountain Mystery 3-Gun 2021. Great match, we just finished up, and I got a great crew here that wants to share with you how to get into 3-Gun, what to do when you become a 3-Gunner, some tips and tricks to be a good 3-Gunner, and the equipment that I use, and how I go about setting myself up for a good performance at any 3-Gun match across the country. Let's get started. Shooters, in general, and that's broad general terms, there's only a few divisions within the confines of 3-Gun. What's a division? It's a class or style of firearm, and those classes and styles of firearms shoot against each other for competition. So a guy that has a 223 or an AR-15 with a 60 round magazine and three different optics and a shotgun that holds 60 rounds or whatever crazy configuration you can come up with, that's open division, and they all shoot together. That little enclave of guys who have all the high-end race gear all shoot together. So because of their gear, they don't mix in and shoot with the guys that shoot more tactically oriented equipment. Tactical is generally limited in the amount of optics you can have on your gun, generally one, variable power scope. Uh, your shotgun is generally a tube-fed magazine, not a box-fed magazine as you see here. And that would be the tactical division. You go to a limited division, limited just removes the optics for the most part, except you're allowed a one power optic, and I, I got a shout out for this thing. This little Burris AR-1X is bulletproof. It's what I've been using for years in limited division. I actually won the match here at Superstition one year with it. Uh, I love the thing. You can abuse the hell out of it. You can knock it up against barrels. You can toss it against the wall. It just sits there and goes, yeah, what else you got? It's what I use almost exclusively. But now Burris has come out with a Fast Fire 4, so I may be changing girlfriends and, and be going out with a Fast Fire 4 because it does everything well. But anyways, so I've got open division, anything goes. You've got tactical division, limited on the amount of optics you can have, and you can have a muzzle brake on your rifle, but you have a tube-fed shotgun and basically a, a standard handgun, a 15 to 19 round configuration. It can be more or less depending on magazines restrictions, and that's all... Uh, specific to any individual match. Open, tactical, now we go to limited. Limited removes the optics except for one power optics on your rifle, but your shotgun and your handgun are the same as in tactical. It's getting confusing, I know. Open, limited, or open, tactical, and limited. There's a fourth one you'll find, and it's called heavy metal. It's one that I shot for many, many years because it, we had to use a 308, more torque, more recoil, fewer rounds. Pump shotguns, harder to manipulate, take a little more effort to run, run well. And then a low capacity handgun, generally a 45, uh, you know, or it was 10 rounds max. So that, there's, those are the four basic divisions. Now there's two gun and stealth and some other stuff out there, but those are the four basic divisions. Open, tactical, limited, heavy metal. I have recently, as of this year, migrated to open. Uh, and it turned two reasons. One is the advent of a high quality, reasonably priced magazine fed shotgun. I don't like having to load the thing on the clock. And the fact that now I can put a Burris optic. Yeah, I am I love Burris, that's why I use their stuff. But I can put a Burris optic on everything. So everything here I got has a Burris optic on it. They perform, they're quality, they have a lifetime warranty, and they're affordable. It makes sense if you're gonna have this many guns configured for every different kind of division, to get something that you know checks off all the boxes. And that's why I run Burris. Anyways, guys, three different divisions, the fourth being heavy metal. I have tools here for everything, and in the next video, we'll kind of go through all these various uh, these optics and let you know where they're appropriate and how you might use them. Hey, shooters, I hope you enjoyed the information we've offered for you. If you have a question, naturally comment below. Like, subscribe, and share. That way, everyone gets the benefit of the information we're handing out to you. Yeah, 12 gauge!